Just a little lazy, a little tired as of late, and I do apologize for that. Uh, between work and everything else going on in my life, uh, it's just been very exhausting, but you guys coming back to uh, keep on watching my shows pretty much is all worthwhile. So for that, I thank you very much. And with that said, hello again and welcome to another special Halloween month for the movie review vlog. And this time around, I'm going to be taking a look at some vampires. And I'm going to squeeze out a couple of more movies, uh, movie reviews, hopefully before the, the, the month is over, just so I can get a bit of a quota when it comes to some horror movies. So with that said, let's take a look at one of Joel Schumacher's more better known films, and no, I'm not talking about the Batman and Robin movies, The Lost Boys. Now, The Lost Boys is a... To the... Now, The Lost Boys is a 1987 somewhat horror movie, but a little, little bit of an action and adventure as well, starring Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, Kiefer Sutherland. And the story entails about two brothers and their single mom going to Santa Clara, of all places, and just to uh, start over again and everything else. And of all things, the Santa Clara apparently happens to have uh, vampires, which out of all the places in the world to have vampires, you would ex not expect the Bay Area to have them. And I would have to say that is very clever on their part, because uh, throughout the entire day, it looks really sunny, especially when it comes to Santa Clara and most of the Bay Area, and how beautiful and luscious and you know great the city is, and one of the best parts of California. It's also quite a surprise, and to be honest with you, it's kind of obvious at first who the vampires are in here, but at the same time, there's a little bit of more of a subplot to it as well, because uh, one, one of the brothers, it turns out, is actually getting got bitten by one of the vampires, and so their job now is to destroy the head vampire before his brother becomes full vampire. So pretty much that's how the vampire lore for this movie goes. And I would have to say there's a lot of fun in, in this movie and a lot of entertainment, but of course it is still a rated R movie for a lot of reasons. I am a little disappointed with the amount of gore that it had, in the sense that there's not enough gore in it. Uh, there's just like brief images of them attacking people and biting their heads and whatnot, but most of the deaths and whatever mostly comes from the vampires themselves, and whether it be drowning in a garlic infused holy water uh, tub or the fact that they get staked through the heart, they pretty much overact it. But at the same time, it actually works for itself, especially with how vampires work and everything. And, th and it's not like the, the clueless group of people that say, oh no, vampires, what do we do? There are two guys in particular in this movie who I absolutely love. Corey Haim and Corey Feldman play a couple of friends who run not only a comic book store, but also are kind of like part-time, if not intern-level vampire hunters. And they are quite uh, charming and absolutely fun in here. They throw off some really great uh, quips, and as, long as, as well as one-liners like, uh, what was it? Uh, the dead and flies go together like guns and bullets. <laughs> and a few other things like that. And I pretty much love that. And because of their whole infatuation of hunting monsters and everything else, they just take all the knowledge that they have from reading comic books because you know, like I said before, it's 1987, there's no internet, so you have to rely on books and comics to help you get through survival, to learn about survival and stuff like that. And it actually works for itself. And a lot of things work in this movie, um, apart from the uh, quick quick parts and everything else with the, pra uh, the practical effects was also pretty good. And there was a lot of the nightlife of Santa Clara, which they showed a lot of the beach boardwalk, which is pretty good. And a lot of the party scenes and whatnot. And there's also a bit of this contrived love story, which, like I said, it's a bit contrived and a little narrow-minded because these two people have pretty much only met for like one week and that's and they think they instantly fall in love, but it, that's quickly pushed aside with most of the, due to the humor, the comedy, and also the vampire hunting in here as well. And I would have to say that a lot of the actors in here gave off their greatest performances in this movie. Um, it's a shame that a whole chunk of them 
didn't really do much afterwards with their careers and whatnot. And uh, of course, some others more popular than others who went on to do greater things. But overall, I would have to say that this is the type of horror movie that you can actually get behind if you want to root for the protagonist to destroy the monsters and save the day or save the Bay Area for that matter. And with that said, um, despite minor flaws, which are very, very minor for the most part, and I can, and they can be easily overlooked, I would have to say that this is, without a doubt, a near perfect, but I will have to just give it, I don't want to do percentages other than half percentages, but I would have to say it is a five star rating, without a doubt. And it's a great movie if you ever come across it, hell of fun, and not, and of course, without a doubt, it's not really wasting your time at all. All right. And with that said, I got a few more to go, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you guys like to support the show or have any movie requests that for me, to, you know, or if you guys have any requests for any movie vlogs for me to review, feel free to hit me up on Patreon for the one dollar month club, and or a few other requests if you guys have something else. I do have a few more videos in mind, and I will be updating a. Uh, update video at some point before the year is over. I've just been really busy and I just wanted to address a few things on that update on the, up, the upcoming update video. So with that said, I will see you all next time.